I would like to demonstrate some of the editing features of Mixbus because we get lots of questions about the editing. The manual has a lot of great detail and we have some really good videos, but sometimes you just need to put it all together in a single video to make it clear what's going on. So I'm going to do a couple of real world edits. And I've got a multi-track recording here. I'm just going to audition. Uh, this is the this is a, a bass line from a keyboard. So to do that, I selected the track and I pressed the A key on my keyboard. So I can audition any selected track by doing that. And I can select multiples. But today we're going to do some edits. Let's just pretend that this portion of the bass line was correctly played. So I'm going to select that with the range tool. And I did a command C to copy, of course. The, uh, the audio. And now I'm going to take my mouse and notice that I'm, I've got the mouse selected at the top as my editing point. So now I'd like to paste that bass line over this previous uh, bit of playing. So I'll do a command V to paste. And you notice that this is now on a second layer above the previous take. So that's showing you exactly what's happening. And I can crossfade. So now when I drag these fade handles, what you're seeing is this piece of audio is obscuring the one below it. And there's a crossfade here that happens. So we're playing the lower region, and then it crossfades into the upper region. And then it goes back to the lower region again. Now I like to operate in this overlaid mode. Because when I do that, I can actually zoom in, grab this region, and you'll see that it goes transparent. And I can line it right on top of the previous recorded note. So you see, I'm looking at this transient where the note starts. And I can line it up exactly so that they're even in phase. And what that allows me to do is it, it makes me feel very confident that if I crossfade from that previous take into this upper take, it's going to be completely transparent. I'm going to do the same thing down at the end. See, I don't want to trim my region right here in the middle of a note. I'm going to back up a little bit, and I'm going to find a sensible place to crossfade it so that we go out of the tail of this note and into the attack of the new note. And if you do that, if you zoom in and you line everything up like that, you can make a really uh, seamless edit. So that's basic editing in Mixbuzz. And the details of, you know, you can, you can get in here and do all kinds of cool things. You can change the, the crossfade curve. But the most important thing when editing is deciding where to put the crossfade. And that's almost always right before the onset of another note. That will hide exactly where that crossfade occurs. So for example, if I wanted to come out here, if I decided that I needed to take that top take a little longer, I'll find exactly where to crossfade out from the top region down to the take that was below it. And I can make that crossfade as long as it needs to be to make it smooth. So you can make uh, completely transparent edits here. Now let's talk about what happens if you have multiple takes. If you want to have a vocalist record multiple times, let's go back to the stacked layer mode. So I see this layer. And I'm just going to make, I'm going to make a stack of stuff. Uh, there's another piece. And here's another piece. So these are four different takes. We'll pretend these are four takes of a vocal. And I'm just going to increase this uh, size a little bit so we can so we can see what we're doing. And I'm using the uh, control key and my mouse wheel to increase or decrease the size of this track. There are lots of ways to do it. I could take my range tool and select this track and click Z. And that fills the screen with where I'm editing. Uh, pressing the Z key again zooms out a little bit. So with those tools, I can get into exactly what I want to work. And now you'll see, here's the, here's the underlying take, which goes the full length of the song. Here's an overdub of this portion. Here's another overdub of this portion. And here's another, dub, another overdub of this portion. Now I can set up crossfades so that this take, this phrase, picks up from this phrase and this phrase, I don't know, maybe we, maybe we don't want that there. Maybe that needs to come in over here. Maybe, um, maybe we'll pick up these last two bits of the phrase 
on this one. So we'll fade this one out. So now we've assembled. Here's some audio. We've switched over to this phrase, this phrase, this phrase, and this phrase. Okay. Now you might ask yourself, well, how do I hear which one that I want to use? Well, there are a, lot, a couple of ways to do that. Uh, for one thing, you can, you can shuffle the order around. And by the way, let me switch to lock mode. If I switch to lock mode, which I normally do whenever I'm working with multitracks, now I can't slide that left or right. I can't mess up the timing. I can move it up or down. I can put it in a different track, but I can't mess up the timing when I turn on lock mode. So I like to work that way. So you might ask, well, how do I just listen to that region? How do I know whether I want to use that region in my arrangement? Well, we have a tool called the Audition tool. Uh, this is actually a new thing that was added in Mixbus version 4.3. So if I click the A key, that's going to solo this track and play it. But now if I want to listen to just that region, I can uh, click my A key. Let me just stretch it out so we have a little more to listen to. I'm going to click the A key. Okay, now I'm going to listen to the one above it. And I can actually flip between them on the fly.